I mentioned before that uh, it had a supervisor board which I removed. All the machines today have chassis controllers. Uh, the uh, Dell, my much maligned 1855 in the uh, closet, has the DRAC Dell Remote Access Controller. This is uh, this machine's chassis controller was the supervisor board, the IES, which is the the intelligent environment sensor. And the IES board, I had one, like I said, and I cannot find it. I have searched high and low. Um, as you can imagine with, you know, this kind of stuff, I have literally hundreds of ISA boards, four, five, six hundred maybe, and I have gone through my stashes. Um, I only vaguely remember what it looked like. I had to go on their support archive website, there being Cubix, to even find a description of the Daffy board. I cannot find it. It drives me nuts. Pisses me off no end because I know I have it. I know it's somewhere because I have never thrown anything away. That much is plainly obvious. Um, and I certainly have never found a good way to get rid of PCBs around here. So it will exist. I will have it. Uh, but I can't show it to you. So you have my apologies for that. However, uh, the IES that was in this machine, uh, from memory, it was powered by a 3D6. Uh, and you saw that it had its own drive. So what you would do is while this drive up here was multiplex, so when it was selected on the multiplexer, you, the uh, blade that was active could access this drive. The supervisor board, the IES, was constantly connected to this drive. And so, you know, this sh chassis would come on, and the system would power up, assuming your group's turned on, and the supervisor board would boot off the drive. It would run DOS and it would load up uh, BC Vision, which is the name of the Cubix specific software for these boards, um, custom made for them by them. The supervisor, say you had a standalone machine like this, the supervisor would monitor standard stuff. Uh, we've got, let me check my little list, uh, temperature sensors, voltage monitoring, it checks uh, if one of the BC processors, which is these boards here, had croaked. It can reset a dead board. That's power supply monitoring. Fans, uh, fan voltage, fan um, RPM. Uh, it does slot power, so whether the group's down. Keyboard fuse and um, floppy drive fusing. And you can see the fuses down there. Uh, so if anything went awry, the supervisor would catch it and do what a supervisor should. Now that's interesting, you know, having a controller. What's also cool is that, like I believe I mentioned, they could be chained. Um, I think this may have been integrated cable. I'm not positive. Uh, however, um, the supervisor card itself had a pair of RJ11 phone jacks, and you would daisy chain the cables between the chassis. The full supervisor board, like I had, uh, which in a proper supervisor chassis with the drive, uh, would be the master chassis, and then each of the other chassis would have an IES module, which was a remote, um, uh, you know, a trap. It would uh, pull in all this information and then send it up to the supervisor board, uh, and it would control all of the chassis from that one board, and the BC Vision software would be able to review all of the chassis in the array from that one uh, system. Magic, magic, magic. Well, and that's about all I have for you today, I'm afraid. Um, hopefully, uh, we can get the cubic name out there a bit more. Uh, it really is, like I said, depressing that nobody knows who they are, but we have evidence of a brilliant machine. Well thought out, well engineered, completely custom built in-house for a very specific purpose that foreshadowed where the entire world in computing would go when it comes to redundancy and uh, ease of use, reliability, extensibility. Just add a new blade. Um, there you have it. The Cubix ERSFT. If you have, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of your comments and I wish you a fine day.